at drfitnessusa.com and today I'm sitting here again with the international body designer, Dr. Fitness USA himself, and we're here to answer some of your questions. As you know, some of our students that are on our strength training programs that we have now available online are having some questions and so we're putting this series together specifically to help you and answer all the questions you might have. So let's go on to another question today. Uh, last week we answered a question uh, regarding warming up. Today we have Susie from Illinois. Susie says, I'm having trouble following the breathing instructions. I naturally want to do it the other way than what you're recommending. What should I do? So this is a question about breathing during the exercises. So Dr. Fitness USA, do you want to answer that question or? Well, I'll turn it over to my gracious host, Batista Grimaud, to answer that question. Great, because I have a lot of experience with breathing as my background was in ballet and I've been doing breathing my whole life. So as in terms of strength training and the breathing, you really do want to make a conscious effort to breathe out at, at the moment of the effort, okay? So what you would do is you would breathe in as you prepare to do the exercise and breathe out as you, um, like if you're in the leg press, you would push the legs, that's the effort, then that's when you would want to breathe out. Now, why is that important? When you are uh, doing more um, lighter weight uh, exercises, like if you're warming up or you're in a set that you're doing light weight, it's not as important, but as you're going to increase the weight, it's going to become more and more important. The heavier the weight, the more breathing and the, the sharper and the stronger your breath is going to be. Now, breathing is very important for several reasons. Uh, not only because just the act of breathing is help, going to help you actually perform the exercise, but also the air that you are taking in is actually uh, feeding your muscle and it's going to give energy to your muscle so that you won't cramp or that you will uh, be uh, not as tired during the exercise. Now something interesting is I was uh, working uh, one day with our model, Beth Leon, which is the model in the videos that you're working with, and she was explaining to me that in martial arts, they also use that principle of breathing. As a matter of fact, in martial arts, they make sound when, when they breathe, and the, when, depending on the different sounds they make, it has a different effect on their, on their uh, form or the effect or the power of their kicks. Or She was teaching me to breathe in through the nose and when you breathe out, you make a little sound with your, with your, um, with your tongue. You go like and when, it's, and when you are actually exerting a lot of force in your, in your training, you would actually uh, make the sound a little louder. And so I thought it was interesting when I was talking to uh, Beth Leon about this because it's the same type of principles than uh, in the martial arts. So it is quite important to uh, try to incorporate the proper breathing uh, from the beginning, it will make a difference in the long run when you are going to increase the weight and it's going to increase your performance and uh, make things uh, easier for you. How was that, Dr. Fitness USA? That was amazing, yeah? amazing. Cool. So I even learned something. You even learned something? Great. See, we learn something every day. So that's it for today and we'll see you next week with another episode of Answering Your Question. I am Batista, and I'm here with DrFitnessUSA.com. Please visit my site. You'll find a lot of secret things available to enhance your training today. Great. See you next time. Mm -hmm.